so much, ladies and gentlemen, and greetings to you all. A warm welcome. As some of us may recall, bubbles were a trademark of the classic Lawrence Welk TV show. Then, as now, bubbles are genuine pop stars, as Faith Saley now shows us. There's something magical about soap bubbles. They seem to defy gravity, those floating, fleeting, iridescent orbs. They're almost not here on the physical plane with us, soap bubbles. They, they, they exist in this other almost not here place. <laughs> it's a bubble too. Tom Noddy should know. Mm -hmm. He's one of the world's foremost bubble artists exploring the topsy-turvy, often wonderful world of bubbles for some 40 years. I do bubbles inside of bubbles, smoke bubbles, clear bubbles. Clear Along bubbles, the way, he bubbles, met our very own Charles Kuralt at San Francisco's Exploratorium. Bubbles trail away from him wherever he goes in whatever breeze that blows. He is a wandering minstrel, and bubbles are his song. 35 years later, that wandering minstrel wandered back to the Exploratorium to show us his latest creations. The volcano starts with an earthquake. Then the eruption. My initial attraction was just the beauty. Just the colors were so beautiful. The, the spheres were so nearly perfect. But I didn't have a background in science. When I, when I went to college, I majored in anti-war demonstrations, you know, <laughs> I mean, really. But the only guys that knew anything about what I was doing was scientists. <clears throat> well, to get love, you have to overcome surface tension. Spend a minute or two with Naughty, and you realize what really blows him away isn't the beauty, but the complexity of the lowly bubble. It's really, it's a network. It's an electrical network, isn't it? It's molecules in space, and they're linked to each other electrically. That is to say, one end of a, a soap molecule is attracted to a nearby water molecule electrically. The bubble is this network. The whole thing is interdependent. If I were to separate a couple of molecules right here, just a, a couple of distances apart from each other, the entire network will come apart. Or in other words, for years, bubbles have been a staple of children's entertainment. What we're able to see is that when this bubble pops... But today, you're just as likely to find them in the lab as you are at the playground. Bubbles are important because they transport gases in, into liquids and, and liquid into to gases. In James Bird's lab at Boston University, lots of experiments are bubbling away. They can affect the way that we might perceive or smell certain beverages, so champagne. The aroma and the flavor is enhanced by having small bubbles that are able to, when they pop, make tiny jets that break up into little droplets. Taste ice cream? You're eating bubbles. When you churn ice cream, you're folding air into it. Without bubbles, ice cream would be hard as, well, ice. When you hear waves crashing, you're actually listening to bubbles form. Not many people know, but the sound of the surf, the tinkling, fountain, the babbling brook, the rushing waterfall, all those sounds are bubbles. Grant Dean at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography at UC San Diego counts bubbles in the ocean and in sea ice by, believe it or not, listening to them. Every time a bubble is formed, it makes a pulse of sound, these musical tones. It's like hitting a bell with a hammer. It radiates this pulse of sound. The sound a bubble makes depends on its size. As the bubbles get smaller and smaller, they radiate higher and higher tones. And so it's from the tone, the frequency, that we can figure out the size of the bubble. The more bubbles you have, the louder the surf is. By measuring tiny bubbles in the vast sea, Dean says we can understand the workings of our oceans. The bubbles lie at the heart of everything that's going on at the ocean surface. When a wave breaks, the bubbles are pushed into the water. As they do that, they help transfer gases from the atmosphere into the ocean. About a third of all the carbon dioxide that we produce ends up in the ocean, and bubbles help carry it there. There's no doubt bubbles connect our world in ways large and small, 
from the bubbles of oxygen that fill our lungs to the bubble wrap that keeps our packages safe. At MIT, scientists have built computers that use bubbles in circuits instead of electrical pulses to convey information. Doctors are now even using microscopic bubbles to administer medicine, popping them with ultrasound to precisely deliver drugs. So the next time you see a bubble, take a minute to appreciate its delicate shape, its colors, its mysteries, all before it pops. I had this memory of being with my aunt, who I loved, you know, and watching her blow some bubbles in sunlight, and my heart fluttered when I watched her. There is mathematics to it. It can be explained and discussed, but it's just there's something beautiful about that. It's...